Hi, I will show you what's new in the hair tool. Some UI improvements, improvement in the simulation, the ability finally to add multiple different profile to one hair object, the new hair system type, and maybe some improvements in modeling. So let's add one more system. And I want to make this child of the first one. So I will assign F tag to first, set parent to this F tag. Now you see the new indentation is showing you child parent relations. I can add one more, set, par set parent to F, and we have two child systems. And this works in the recursive way. So if I add one more, and I want to make this child of the second one, so I will assign S tag to first and use this as parent for the new system. This tree structure is only here in the UI, so it will be easier to, for you to see the child parent relations, but in the modifier stack, this is still linear stack of, of modifiers. Now let's go about curve from grid. In this setup, I have this, I have this uh, grid, uh, which, is, uh, which has this very narrow uh, first loop and maybe you remember, this can be problematic since uh, when we spawn strands in here, it could be guided by two curves, one for right, one to left, and this would result in strand, new strand going to the center. And the, the way around that would be in the past to split mesh into two islands. Now this is no longer needed, uh, just like in the old hair tool, uh, when it was coded in Python, uh, we do not need, not need those uh, two islands. So I can remove those sharp edges and edge split modifier. This is now one island. And let's show the hair. So this is broken since this is the old version. We'll go to the deformers, select the strands from grid and update that. Now you see a new version does not have any issues. Another, uh, so maybe there is not enough strands because previously Previously, we were generating 11 strands for one island, then 11 to the left. But now I have to compensate since this is just one island, so I have to double the strand count. Uh, now, the another improvement is for low poly uh, strands. So let's make the profile a slightly lower resolution. And if I show you the grid, I want the hair roots to go inside the hair. So that's why I, the first loop is kind of moved uh, inside like so. But uh, since the hair does not have enough resolution, instead of uh, this going inside and then follow the mesh, we have instead uh, just this kind of effect. Uh, but there is now a new option called hook first segment. This will uh, bend the first segment uh, to follow closely the first segment on the mesh, on the guide mesh. So this is helpful since before that op option existed, you would have to like uh, subdivide all the strands. This would double the geometry. You could add, add the slice, uh, slide modifier to add more geometry in the center. But now there is no need for both of them. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now let's go and uh, see the new hair system type. I will select and drop a few strands in here. And let's add the new hair system to those generated strands. Interpolated strand type will basically interpolate strands between the drawn curves. And this is kind of similar to curve from grid surface, except uh, this is not using a mesh for uh, interpolation. Uh, one cool parameter in here is this automatic spline sorting. So in the solid view, I can show you the strand order. We have uh, strand 0, 1, 2, 3. If I uh, draft new one in between the two existing ones, so for example here, I will break the order and I can show you that we have strand 0, 4, 4 1, 2. So order is broken, but, but interpolation still works thanks to this uh, automatic spline sorting. If I disable it, it does not look as good. Uh, lastly, the, this is like the automatic procedural way to generate those interpolated strands, but there is also a manual way. So let's say I will uh, duplicate those strands, like so. I can uh, manually interpolate and create more strands in between. 
uh, by using control shift h and interpolate strands and this is a destructive operation so now you cannot like adjust the count after you have uh, executed the operator so maybe one more time i can select those strands run interpolate strands and this way you can imagine like filling uh, some places quite quickly and now finally let's go to the multi-profile curve support <coughs> so uh, in this case let's switch to the uh, to the profile section and uh, i will use the mesh profile type it looks slightly different now i can add the objects i created here add the cube the cone and the plane uh, and i can maybe slice them with this button so they have more geometry <coughs> now it still uh, looks like the old system where uh, random meshes would be distributed randomly on random strands however now you have control over uh, where those can be assigned so let's say i want to assign cube only on the left and cone only on the right. For that, let's jump to the deformers and I will add the new type profile distribute deformer. It is using currently all profile meshes, but I can manually assign a profile using this operator. So I will assign cube and uh, now I want the cones to be on the right. Let's add one more time profile distribute and manually assign, but this time cone. And uh, we are almost there. I now just want to mask this effect so that the cones will be only on the right. So I will mask the left side with vertex group and use this vertex group to mask the cones. So I will add input mask, vertex group and add the new one. So now we have the effect uh, we wanted but uh, this can be useful also with different uh, type of masks so i could add for example length mask so now the longer strands will receive cones etc uh, what if you want uh, full procedural control full control over which strand receive which mesh for that we would have to bake this hash system into real geometry so control shift h bake all systems and now i want cube on the left that is okay I want cone on the center, so we select the center strands, Control Shift H, and manually set profile to the cone type in the center. And for the right part, right part, I can use Control Shift H and assign, but this time the plane. So you see, you have full control if you want, but you have to bake the hair system into real geometry. Uh, usually you would not use those uh, in primitives, but you would use uh, hair card meshes. The quickest way to do this, rather than manually modeling those meshes, is to use is to use the generate mesh cards from UV. So let's preview maybe first the UV. Uh, those are the UVs on the head system. They are not used currently since we are using UVs from the cube, cone, and plane. But I want to use those. So let's generate head cards from UVs. And if I show you the texture, those new meshes in here are generated from UV boxes and we can now instance them on the strands rather than cube, cone and plane. So I will replace cube with red, plane, cone with green and plane with blue. We have now those head cards assigned. Maybe they are a bit white. And, uh, so you, I, I think you will see now how this can be quite fast to generate and I will slice all those objects using shift and click on the slice. And usually you would want maybe the cards to be uh, cross profile. So how to do this? You can just uh, duplicate any of the cards and uh, just join maybe green and red. So control join and now in here we have uh, cross profile type of uh, uh, hair cards on the left i can do the same and join maybe the green the purple with blue Control j and now we have this cross profile curves on the right 
Uh, and since those are uh, meshes, you can uh, cut them, slice them. So if you want to adjust the profile shape to match better the texture, you can adjust this here and it will update on the hair. Uh, finally, slightly different variation on the same thing is to use multi carve profiles. Uh, I will remove those meshes. And let's generate Let's generate the multi curve profile and here generate curve from UVs. It looks exactly the same as previously, but this is different since you see in the outliner those are curves. They look like mesh because of this profile preview modifier. But if I disable that, the only real geometry is this curve on the bottom. So the same is true here, here, and here. The rest, the the rest is only for you to see the texture preview. Okay, so let's instance those on the curve. We'll select the hair, assign the red curve, green, and blue. So the difference between those curve profile and mesh is that uh, they will be automatically sliced depending on the hair resolution. Uh, so the more resolution I add to the guide curve, the more subdivisions it will automatically receive. You do not have to slice those curve objects since you would not be able to model this anyway. Like you cannot cut this geometry since this is only a procedurally preview. Uh, and how to create cross profiles with curves? It is same as before. Just uh, join maybe green and red. Control J. And now we have cross profile generated and instanced on the left. The same is true in here. So different way to create cross profile is to go to edit mode, duplicate the bottom curve, rotate. Now I want to use different UVs on this bottom curve. So I use Control Shift H and assign a different UV region like that. And now we have cross profile instanced on the right. So I think that covers everything about the new uh, different profile options. Uh, maybe I will show you now the, the new simulation. So the issue, issue with the previous simulation was that if you generated more subdivided strands, it would jiggle like forever. Now it is no longer the issue. So if I simulate, we get this kind of effect. And uh, if you are interested, I could make a more detailed video about simulation since this can be complicated to, add, to set up on animated meshes with rigs. Uh, and finally, small improvement. Uh, I will show you small, small improvement in modeling. So let's say I will symmetrize this hairstyle. Uh, let's remove those uh, hair systems. And at the bottom, I will add the mirror. <laughs> and let's bake this into real geometry. Control Shift H, bake. So in the past, when you used the hair modeling tool, it would not be symmetrical and there was no option for symmetry. Now you can enable this button and it will model the hair in symmetrical way. So this works also for extend with E key, and this works also for delete, and it works for duplicate. Unfortunately, <coughs> it is, does not work for the knife. So if I cut, cut this, uh, it is not symmetrical. Maybe in the future I will add support for the knife tool. So yeah, I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about. Hope you like the update. Uh, see ya.